What's going on YouTube? How are you doing? Listen, um, I'm at my house in my garage and I thought about this uh, from the last video. You know, I talked about my 1986 Mustang GT, which I love and which started me on my uh, road to uh, hot rods and speed and all other stuff that just costs a lot of money. So I was like, you know what? Maybe they would like to see it. So today what I'm going to do I'm going to basically introduce to you my 1986 Mustang GT, the car that started the speed bug. And I used to also ride with a bunch of other guys. We all had the same cars, but as you get older and you get a family, guess what? You put things to the side. And as I stated before, this car has been sitting in my garage for over 10 years, but still look good. It still looks sexy. So, without further ado, allow me to reintroduce to you. I couldn't put the song in the clip because, you know, copyright material. So I was trying to sing it, but here we go. You got my 1986 Mustang GT. Now, it appears to be clean, but it is not. It is not. Um, I couldn't tell you the exact color. It's gray. Uh, I like gray. I like a lot of colors, but I do like gray. It's kind of hard to go wrong with a gray vehicle. Not to mention, you got this project, the 1986 Mustang, but you also got this project too, here. Oh, okay, okay, we're gonna talk about that right now. Okay, so, 1986 Mustang GT. And I'm gonna show you the interior, but I'm gonna do the exterior first. Hopefully you can see this. So it's sitting on 16 inch Fittipaldi wheels. These wheels back in the day, um, I thought they were pretty, you know, five stars. I thought they were a pretty cool uh, wheel to, you know, put on the vehicle. So uh, underneath the secure cover is a four lug, which down the road I want to change it to a five lug. And I would love to go to 18 inch wheels. Okay, we got the chrome exhaust. You can always tell somebody who really take care of their car. And you know how you can tell? Because of those tips. Those tips are clean. When I say clean, clean. Look at that. Look at that. They're clean. Alright. We got tinted windows. And one of the most important things we have in here and if you're a real car guy, and I'll show you when I get in there, you got a five speed, a five speed. It's not connected to a Tremec. It's connected to a world-class transmission. All right. And now I'm going to show you what's under the hood. All right, here we go. We got the motor. The motor is not a stock motor. The motor was built by a shop, and uh, as I said in the last video, I won't mention the shop name because the motor does not run. It runs, but it doesn't. Once you start it, it'll start, uh, but it will get hot. It will get very hot. So hot that it has melted the uh, clutch cable several times, and when I was driving it, the cable broke and left me stranded because I had no clutch. So anyway... Um, in case you did not know, this is uh, with the 1986. The 1986 Mustang um, was the first year of the fuel-injected engine. Okay, this is fuel-injected. The year before that, 19, 1985, was a um, carburetor inje uh, carburetor injected. <laughs> was a carburetor. Uh, that sat uh, on top of the motor. So this is fuel injected. So this right here is not a 302. The Ford Mustang came with a 302. This is a 306. Twisted wedge, aluminum heads. Um, we have a GT40 intake. We have, as you can see, a cold air induction system where you have the, um, the filter inside the uh, fender. Ignition, MSD, we got electric fan, 
we have an interstate battery. And the reason why I bring up interstate battery, um, I have a mechanic who, uh, he's a very good mechanic, but he hates interstate batteries. But I will tell you this, this motor has been on a tender charger for over 10 years and it's still in the green. It is still in the green, meaning the battery is still charged. So once I do get ready to uh, take this car and find a shop that's going to do the work, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it. Right now, it's not too smart to start the motor because the motor has been sitting for so long and all the oil, I'm sure, is down in the oil pan. And that means those cylinders are dry, even though this motor is not worth anything, I don't think. I don't know. You know, in fact, maybe I will start it one of these days and I will videotape it. So because if I put another motor in here, which I am, I guess it doesn't matter, right? So, uh, and then we have the uh, pulleys. Nothing big. One thing I did do to this motor that I kind of regret doing is um, I took away the air conditioner. You know, the whole horsepower thing. I want to gain more horsepower. But in reality, you don't have to do that. So this is the motor that uh, I had... Uh, that was built. And like I said, it got dyno at 390, which was pretty fast, but guess what? It stopped working in a couple months. So now it's time for to look at the interior. Also, you know this is old school. Remember those on the alarm system? The little flashing red lights? You don't see that much. That often, should I say. And look at this. This is the alarm system. Cold alarm. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's not coming in. But let's see if it works. Because right now my door is locked and I think the alarm is on. Uh-uh. That's not going to work. And I know this alarm is going to go off. Okay. Let me see something here. All right. Here we go. Uh, I knew this key fob would not work. Why would it? But I'm sure this alarm is still working. So, you know, it's old school when you got keys like this. Look at these keys. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. And if this alarm starts going off, guess what? Yeah, I'm going to have to pause the video. All right. There you go. The door's unlocked. It's unlocked. Let's see what's going to happen. I think it's going to get kind of loud. But this interior, ooh, it is clean. Get right back to you. Hang tight. All right. <laughs> back with the video. Um, you know, even though the alarm went off, it was kind of cool. And the reason why it was kind of cool it went off, well, for the fact that the alarm still works. But when I got back in the car, I was like, check this out. There was a bypass. And I remember how to bypass it. And that's what I did. So, even without the uh, key pop. So, anyway, if you look at the interior. We have brand new seats in here. Uh-oh, it just reset. Hopefully it won't go back off again. We have new seats in here. We got new carpet in here. We have a grand steering wheel in here with cruise control. And believe it or not, the cruise control actually works. So let me get in here. Let me get back in the... Get to feel how it used to feel in here. Look at this. Oh man, look at that. We have the, the gauge cluster on the pillar here. We got the vault. We got the water. And we got the oil. Man, this brings back memories. I haven't been in this car in, I don't know, I can't tell you when. It's been a long time, it's been a long time. We got the tachometer. I used to have it set at around um, 
6,000 RPMs when I used to shift, or where I tried to shift it, should I say. Here I have my crucifix in here. And uh, as you can see, hopefully you can see in this video, I mean, it's car everything in here is clean. Oh, also too, I have a short throw shifter. And this is one thing, if you're a driver, man, the thing of it is you like manual transmissions. There's nothing better than shifting gears and pushing clutches, okay? Look at the seats. Look at the headliner, clean. I mean, this is clean. Now in the back, anybody familiar with the Mustang? You will remember that uh, these are the stock seats. I actually got a sound system in here and uh, oh man, it's just junk in there. A lot of junk. So, I had a sound system put in. Eh, it wasn't the best. So, plan to change all that, but I want to get this motor going. So, this is the interior. I thought that's pretty nice. Oh, that's the other thing that needs to be changed. The dashboard is cracked. Not bad. Not bad. All right, you want to see something funny? Now, before, the key fob would not work, and I reset it inside the car. Now, watch this. This battery has been in here for, I couldn't tell you how long it's been in here. It's been in here for a long time. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> It works. So now we got to reset. So what I was going to say, and eventually I'm going to end this video sooner or later, at least in this garage because it is cold. But I like doing these videos. It's cool. So this is a piston that a friend of mine gave me. His name is David Mandeville. Well, it was David Mandeville. He passed away. Long story, maybe one day I'll tell you about the story, but we all, it was three of us that all had 1986 Mustangs. And I remember he gave this to me, and I haven't touched these keys in a while. And it's funny, now I'm looking at it, hey, it just brings back memories. You know, we just having fun, careless, didn't have a worry or anything. But uh, I just thought I'd share, these, uh, share that with you guys. All right, really quick, under the hatch. Uh, which I got to hold up my shoulder because uh, these shocks don't work anymore. I got JL Audios in here, but they're blown. Um, when it was working, it was very nice. The uh, Mustangs also came with stock 6x9s in the back, which were, I mean, they were all right. But I had this box custom made back in the day. And um, I'll have a rebuilt to uh, get that sound back. So, just wanted to share that with you guys, too. As I stated earlier, hey, I wanted to share this information with my car. You can tell how cold it is in here. Yeah, hey, it's called dedication. Dedication. Watch this. That's dedication. It's cold. But, you know something? Um, I enjoyed sharing this 1986 Mustang with you guys. Um, I didn't say it in my last video, but I would appreciate it. If you guys would like, uh, comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated. It's Choker TV Modified. Why? Because I'm trying to modify everything in my life, especially these fun things, these toys. And that's how they are. They're toys, things to have fun. And you know, during this COVID time, why not sit around and think about how maybe once it gets warm and maybe when this COVID is gone, we can all get out and cruise and we can get together, we can talk, we can socialize, and we can race. Well, no, not race, that's not legal. But uh, we can cruise. That's better, we can cruise. So once again, thank you. Thank you for uh, being here on this cold Sunday with me and uh, look forward to more videos and um, talk to you soon. As always, be blessed and not stress. Later.